Hello, and in this video, I am going to show you how to render um, a gradient, a horizontal gradient on your model uh, in Maya. So this technique is uh, often used in uh, hand painted texturing styles and uh, is uh, quite common actually. So the idea is that um, we apply a material with a gradient onto our model, um, but our model is uh, yeah correctly unwrapped. Uh, as you as you would expect um, here, uh, uh, yeah, an, a normal normal unwrap. Um, so if you just apply a gradient like this now, it's kind of all over the place, and um, yeah, you can do that in Photoshop. But uh, especially if your model becomes more complex than uh, than this here, and many pieces are uh, scattered all over the place, um, it's easier to to bake it um, so you have an actual gradient on your visible model and not just in your UVs. Uh, so for that, uh, normally we use like a, a second model with a second UV where we just have a um, yeah um, a UV that's just uh, looking at your model from the side. So I'm gonna make a, a copy or a duplicate of uh, my model and uh, call it a uh, uh, gradient. So this is the model that I'm gonna have uh, with um, yeah a messed up uh, UV. All right. So um, we put a material on there, Lambert or Blend. Actually, it doesn't matter at all. It's just in the here in the diffuse in the color. We have to put a ramp like this. Um, it's possible that you want the black to not be fully black. And to choose like a yeah just dark gray here, something like that. Um, but you can also do that in Photoshop, of course. But yeah, as you can see now, it uh, just follows the um, the unwrap. Um, so we have to put a or we have to change the unwrap. Um, just select everything. And here, uh, put it on the uh, Z axis. Actually, I think X axis would also work, uh, but yeah, Z axis makes a bit more sense, right? So it's like this. You could uh, rotate it a bit, um, if you, depending on on uh, your model, or uh, just scale it just slightly, um, so it's not fully white here, not fully black here, and it's kind of in the middle. But doesn't matter. Um, that much. Also, the the preview of the gradient here in the in UV. This here is a uh, uh, wait. Yeah, it's it's kind of like messed up with this band here, but it uh, it won't matter. All right. So now I want to bake the diffuse of this model onto the texture of this model, which is still uh, has a has its correct uh, UVs. So how do I do that? First, we put them in the uh oops uh object mode we put them in the correct position same location um we select the original one make sure you select the correct one and then here in this thing go to rendering go to lighting shading and go to transfer maps so this is where you bake uh, normal maps and so on in maya which of course we don't need we uh it looks like this. We just need the diffuse map. So click on the diffuse button, um, then uh, choose um, the location. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, you know how it looks. So gradient, correct uh, title for you. Save it as a. PNG or so, something. Um, so here, desktop gradient dot PNG. Uh, so it's on the on on this on this model on UV channel one, which is uh, the correct one that we need. So we also need to set a source uh, mesh, which uh, if you do like high uh, with normal maps, it's like your high poly, but in this case, it's just the other low poly with a different color on. Um, so here, select this one, click the Add Selected button. So this is the 
my normal yeah orc blade that was my normal one this is the orc blade gradient and then in the maya output options here you set the the size um yeah that that you need so probably uh this but i'm gonna reduce it so uh the the baking doesn't take as long for the video and here you can set it to medium or something but uh, i'll just set it to this the only thing that i would suggest i think the default here uh fill texture is just one i would like increases to eight or 16 so you have a bit of padding um but that's pretty much it yeah so yeah just don't don't copy my uh yeah my low settings, but I uh, have some decent settings, but it will take a bit longer. I think it's already <laughs> baked, let's see, on my desktop. Uh, I need to find it. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so it's a very small one. But um, yeah, that, that should be uh, correct. And actually it's now placed on It's put in here uh, on the original one uh, as a as a texture in in the um, in the material, which of course you don't need. Like you're gonna apply it in Photoshop, but uh, there you have it. So I think uh, that's it. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, paying attention. See you later. Bye.